Hello, in this video I'm going to go over how to set up custom collision for your meshes inside Unreal Engine. By default, when you import a model into Unreal Engine, it will automatically generate collision for it. Although this can sometimes have problems. For example, I imported this Tori gate. If I click the play button and try and go through it, we can see that I can't. And that's because Unreal Engine has automatically generated some collision for it, although it's not accurate. So let's go over how we set up some custom accurate collision inside Unreal Engine. The first thing we'll do is basically head inside the model static mesh and then we want to go to the collision tab, just check it and we just want to check the simple collision. So this simple collision is the collision that Unreal Engine generates and uses for the model when you import it. If I just uncheck this, so if I just uncheck this and go complex collision, we can see that Unreal Engine will generate a much more complex collision and this will basically be the collision that we can make Unreal Engine use. So to make it use this, we can just scroll down under the collision complexity, we just want to change this to be use complex as simple and go save. And now if I go play, Unreal Engine will use that complex collision and I can go through this gate as it's using that much more accurate collision. Although using complex collision will cost a bit more performance inside of your game. So there's another way that we can add collision if we want it to be accurate. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. So I'm just going to head back to my toy gate and I'm just going to change this back to use the project default collision. And I'll just uncheck this. And the way we can add our own custom collision is if we just go to the collision here in the top left, we just want to select it and then we want to click remove collision. And this will remove collision from the whole object. And now we're going to add our own custom collision to it. So to do that, we can go to the collision and then I'm going to go add box collision. And as you can see, we can add this box collision around our object and we can edit it by just selecting the box collision. And I'll bring up this window. And I'm just going to scale my box collision down. So I'm just going to click this little select and scale objects. And then I'm going to set the scaling option to be 0.3125. So I have a lot of detail of it. And I'm just going to decrease it in the X axis. And then I'm just going to select and translate the object and move this to, to the left side of the toy gate. So I'm just going to make it so I have more precise um, movements. So I'm just going to go to my set position grid snap and make this one so I have much more finer movements and just place this around this gate and then I'm going to add another box collision and again I'm just going to scale this down and I will place this on the other gate and go save so that way that's not using complex collision so it's not as performance heavy on my game this is another way of basically setting up the collision. So now if I just close this and go play, I can go to the pole or fill some collision, but I can also just go through it. So those are some ways you can set up collision for your static objects inside Unreal Engine. If you found this video helpful, like and subscribe, it helps me out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.